Hello my lovely kids, I hope you have enjoyed the story of fine idea and you have learnt a lesson from Wongo to keep the surroundings clean. Very important children, whenever you eat something, whenever you shop something or whatever it is, if it is a waste thing, you should always throw it in the dustbin. You should always keep your house and your surrounding clean. By doing that, we will also stay fit and healthy. Okay, so let's see the words to know. Stroll, leisurely walk, matlab aram se chalna, trip, fall, barely, almost not, matlab bahut mushkil se kuch kaam karna, awful, very bad, muttered, to complain in a quiet way, matlab dheere dheere complain karna, dheere dheere baat karna, kyo yaar ye aisa kyo ho gaya, ye to galat hai, annoyed, angry, attitude, a feeling or a way of thinking that affects our behavior. Yes, so we say that Ram has a good attitude, Ram is has a positive attitude, so that is what our behavior is. Concern, a feeling of worry, discard, thrown away, littered, spread untidily, matlab bikhrava, dawned, to become light at the sunrise. Now be mindful, your body and you. Wash your hands and face and sit down in a comfortable place. Relax and close your eyes. Now try to feel the texture of your skin on your hands. How, do, how does it feel? Does it feel smooth? Does it feel clean? Feel your nails and your fingers. Does they feel even and short? Put your hands on your face. Feel the cheeks and cheeks and your lips. Do they feel clean? Are your lips chapped? Feel your hair and your hands. Notice how it feels. Does your hair, uh, hair feel too oily? Does it feel dry? So now children, sit down at a calm area and try feeling your body. And see, once you clean your body, how good you feel. Your hair are smooth, your lips are soft, your cheeks are soft, right? Your nails are cut properly and that is what cleanliness is. When we keep ourselves clean, we feel happy and we feel healthy. Okay, now question and answers who threw the can on the ground people who visited the th uh, the zoo threw the can and chocolate wrappers on the ground why was uh, wongo annoyed with the people wongo was annoyed with the people because he saw discarded wrappers cold drink can and banana peel around the zoo name the thing which the visitor had littered in the zoo so what they did chocolate wrappers then cans, water bottles and banana peel. What did Wongo murmured about the garbage on the ground? So what kya bola tha Wongo ne dheere dheere? He was getting very angry. Wongo was annoyed with people's attitude and he grumbled and he said they just had to drop their garbage just into the garbage bin, right? So no ne garbage bin ki jage zoo ko hi ganda kar diya tha. Why do you think Wongo was happy even after staying awake the whole night and cleaning the zoo? Wongo was happy because he was he cleaned the zoo. Everything was neat and tidy and it was looking very beautiful. Now tick the correct option. Wongo tripped over a cold drink can. The road of the zoo was full of empty water bottles and drink cans. The road was made tidy again by Wongo. After cleaning the zoo, Wongo felt satisfied. Now children in C, make new sentences of the following words. I will make few and then rest you make. Trip. Trip jaise maine bola aapko, ke trip ka matlab fall hona. So, Sita tripped off the stairs. Sita chalte chalte sidiyo se gir gai. Attitude. Ram has a positive attitude. Annoyed. Tony was annoyed with Tutu's, Tutu's behavior. Stroll. My grandparents went for an evening stroll and muttered. Uh, Sita angrily muttered that Ram pulled her hairs. So 
children in that way you can also make sentences of these words okay now let's see the opposite words of of these words barely means easily awful wonderful or good concern ease discard keep or acquire now tony and tutu i got banana chips come tony let's eat whoa let me wash my hand first but your mother isn't around i must be grown up then so now tony is uh, tutu is saying come tony let's have some banana chips so tony is saying let me go and wash my hands he's saying why come come let's eat why do you have to wash your hands so tutu is saying no my mother is not around that does not mean i'll not keep myself clean so we should always keep ourselves clean okay children now let's see value for life we live in a wonderful world mother nature has blessed us with blessed us with colorful flowers beautiful plants trees and good sound read the following i care for my world my world is special and i am special too take a pledge to make the world beautiful place by cleaning it up what can you do to keep your surrounding clean fill in the blanks one is done for you i pledge not to throw wrappers on the ground now there are four more pledges that you need to take so take that and do that and see how are you going to keep your area and your surrounding clean children activity time use the internet to find out the famous wildlife sanctuary in india paste the pictures in the space given below collect pictures of some of the animals from found there then paste the pictures and animals and write about them in the next page yes so we india has many uh, wildlife sanctuaries so google it and see what are these sanctuaries write about one paste a picture here in this blog and what are animals there in that sanctuary put the pictures of animals here and write little bit about those animals children do these activities whenever you have your time children okay so this was all about a fine idea and keeping yourself clean so children i will see you in the next class with one more story till that time bye bye